23 biggest dog breeds in the world. Have you ever noticed that bigger dogs don't even realize how big they are? Here's some of the largest dog breeds ever. Let's hope these guys realize just how enormous they really are. 23. The Mop Dog There's lots of moppy-haired dogs out there in the world, even a few shaggy ones on this list. Yet none resemble a mop more than the Commodore. This Hungarian sheepdog came to Europe by way of the Cumans, a Turkish nomadic group of people. Hungary considers the Commodore, also known as the Hungarian sheepdog, as a prominent figure in their culture. Commodores grow to be 27.5 inches or 70 centimeters tall on average, though they can be larger. 22. The Mass of the English Mastiff When it comes to mass, the English Mastiff measures as the largest dog breed. It may seem smaller than the other giant dogs, and a lot of that is contributed to its fine, smooth coat. An English Mastiff recorded in the late 80s holds the record for the greatest weight of a dog that's ever been recorded. The dog was named Zorba. He was seven years old and apparently had the size and stature similar to that of a donkey. 21. Hunting Deer It seems that the lineage of the Scottish Deerhound goes back to even the Roman times because they were kept by the Picts, who were ethnolinguistically Celtic, and the Scots. The Scottish Deerhound used to be bred in order to hunt red deer, hence the name. These rough-haired canines may be huge, about 32 inches or 80 centimeters at the most in height, but they are also known to be quite friendly. 20. The Georgian Shepherd Dog Under all that thick fur is a muscular, formidable dog. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog, also known as the Caucasian of Charka, is one of the most popular dogs in Georgia. Like other breeds of dogs, owners of Caucasian Shepherd Dogs will crop the ears of their pets, though many see this as highly unethical. Specific training is required if you want your Shepherd Dog to behave in a controlled manner. If you have more than one dog as a pet besides a Caucasian Shepherd Dog, then they definitely need training since they do not like other dogs. 19. The Black Russian Non-Terrier Why call it a terrier if it's not actually a true terrier? It might have a lot to do with the way it looks. Either way, the Black Russian Terrier is actually more closely related to Rottweilers, Newfoundland Dogs, and even the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. These dogs were developed as military and working dogs for the USSR. Their double coat has a dense and coarse feel on the outside and a much softer texture for the inner coat. 18. The Stubborn Doberman Pinscher Like humans, the personality of the dog depends on the dog. Even though they look rather severe, a Doberman Pinscher that's received proper training can be a very good family dog as well as a loyal companion. Naturally, this breed of dog can be quite stubborn, and for one this size, training is imperative. They grow to be 27 to 28 inches, or 68 to 72 centimeters in size. 17. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Although they can be quite bulky, Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs prove to be powerful creatures, which is how they can complete an assortment of the farm work they were bred for. Just because they're huge doesn't mean they're scary. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is known to be a social dog, and rather calm even though they're highly active. Although they have a list of health problems associated with their breed, they are relatively healthy compared to other breeds their size. 16. Not the ice cream If you're looking for a dog that will be on your side no matter what and always protecting you, then you should look into adopting a Neapolitan Mastiff. These dogs are known for their fierce protectiveness and at a size of 31 inches or 79 centimeters at the most, no one would dare try to hurt you. This ancient dog breed was bred to be a defender. Plus, they're highly intelligent and can learn at an incredible pace. Neapolitan Mastiffs are also prone to conditions such as hip dysplasia and cherry eye. 15. Like a cloud Their personalities are as fluffy as their thick white coats. The Kuvash is a really smart breed of dog that can be rather silly when it comes to their demeanor. While they act aloof, they are also really loyal and will be patient with their owners. Their odorless coats also make them ideal house pets, though the Kuvash was initially bred as a guard dog for livestock and a royal guard dog. They're an ancient breed, originating from Hungary. 14. The Frenchest Dog Ever The most ancient of French dog breeds is the Dog de Bordeaux, also known as the Bordeaux Dog or French Mastiff. This large dog used to once guard castles as well as do manual labor. 
They were known in France as early as the 14th century, deriving their name from their origin in Bordeaux. They can weigh around 100 pounds or 50 kilograms if they're male, or 99 pounds if they're female. 13. The Duck Dog The working dog known as the Newfoundland Dog not only has a water-resistant coat, they also possess web feet, making them great for swimming and therefore also great at being part of water rescue. Unlike most dogs, they do not doggy paddle and instead have their own way of swimming due to their unique characteristics. Experts place them in the giant category when it comes to the range of their weight. The largest Newfoundland dog ever known was 260 pounds or 120 kilograms, although the average is closer to 200 pounds or 90 kilograms in weight. 12. Alpine Pasture Puppies The breed known as the Bernese Mountain Dog was established in the early 20th century, its name deriving from its origin as an alpine pasture hound from the canton of Bern, Germany. In this photo, this dog looks friendly and calm, which is what most dog experts would say the Bernese Mountain Dog's demeanor is usually like. They're nonchalant around strangers and will be rather good-natured to their owners. They grow to be about 28 inches or 71 centimeters at the most. 11. From the Alps This giant dog can weigh between 140 to 260 pounds or 65 to 120 kilograms heavy, with a height that reaches about 35 inches or 90 centimeters at the most. The St. Bernard might look like a big friendly dog, but you wouldn't want this thing barking at you. Most St. Bernards act in a friendly and even patient manner and are good with children. However, when not properly socialized, they can get territorial. From their puppy phase, they grow quite rapidly. Because of this, without proper exercise and diet, their bones can deteriorate. 10. The Farmer Dog Some call it the South African Mastiff, though their more common title is the Borbel. This mollusker type breed originates from South Africa, its name deriving from the African's Dutch word for farmer and the slang word for dog. Their coats are dense, smooth, shiny, and short, and will not shed so often making them easy to groom. You can easily tell the difference between a male and a female of this breed since they are a sexually dimorphistic breed, with the females appearing much less developed. 9. The Japanese One Coming from the mountain regions of North Japan is the Akita, the Akita Inu to be exact. There's also a separate breed called the American Akita, though let's focus on the Inu for today. They look cute and fluffy of course, but the Akita is quite hardy and considered a large dog. According to Japanese history, they descend from the bear hunting breed known as the Matagi dog, the oldest of native Japanese canines. Classified as a spitz breed, the Akita can adopt to the cold weather and is known as one of the most dominant dog breeds in the world. 8. Rugged and Strong It might be strange to refer to a dog as rugged instead of a handsome lumberjack man, but here we are. The rugged Anatolian Shepherd Dog came from a line of ancient livestock guardian dogs that would guard sheep from the predators such as tigers, lions, bears, wolves, and more. And they're not afraid to fight off anything threatening. Independent yet responsible, this dog can do its job sans human assistance. 7. The Nomad Dog Just one look at the Tibetan Mastiff and you know that creature can endure the extreme cold, coming from the colder regions of Tibet, Mongolia, and China after all. The Tibetan Mastiff was used by the Tibetans to protect their sheep from tigers, bears, and wolves. You've got to admit this Mastiff looks an equally daunting opponent to all of those. Before you get used to classifying them as Mastiffs, however, the Tibetan Mastiff actually isn't a true Mastiff and is actually better categorized as a mountain dog. 6. The Rare Fighting Dog Another one of those Mastiffs is on this list. The Tosa Inu, referred to as the Japanese Mastiff by some, counts as an incredibly rare dog. In addition to being quite large, the Tosa Inu is also considered one of the most dangerous dog breeds ever since they were initially bred as a fighting dog and can be used as such to this day. In certain places, it is even illegal to own a Tosa Inu. Their coats are minimal and their legs lean, standing at a height of 32 inches or 82 centimeters at its tallest average. 5. Wolf Hunting the Wolf the old Irish wolfhound has been around in Ireland as early as 7000 BC, and if you couldn't tell from its name, it was used often to hunt wolves. Although some mistakenly think so because it looks like a wolf. The Irish wolfhound looks like a friendly dog for the most part, though some may cower away because of its size. 
And even though it's big and is used for hunting, they have been known to be reserved and even introverted. 4. Looking perpetually sad It's given that with any floppy-faced dog, it's gonna look forlorn and the bloodhound is no different. Their name contrasts their droopy faces, but that's no reason to be fearless around these sorts of animals. After all, the bloodhound was bred specifically for tracking people during the Middle Ages after being originally bred to hunt boar and deer. Bloodhounds originated from the regions of England, France, and Belgium. 3. From the city of Leonberg As you could probably guess, the name Leon derives from the word lion. So literally, Leonberg, Germany is Lion City. Naturally, the dog bred to look like a lion on the town crest would be dubbed the Leon Burger, making it a symbolic dog breed. This type of mountain dog has a huge double coat. They're strong and muscular, with both males and females looking quite, if not completely, similar. 2. The Woolly Non-Mastiff So there's a Pyrenean Mastiff and the Great Pyrenees, two different kinds of dogs. Today, we're talking about the Great Pyrenees, a mountain dog originating from France and Spain. Males of this breed can grow up to 32 inches or 81 centimeters tall, while females are slightly smaller. What adds to their weight is that thick double coat of theirs. 1. The Greatest of Them All Then we get to Scooby-Doo's breed, the Great Dane. The tallest dog in the world ever recorded was a Great Dane named Zeus, who stood at a height of 22 inches. However, if he stood on his hind legs, he would reach a frightening size of 7 feet 4 inches tall. Truly great indeed. Which of these puppies would you own as a pet? Do you even have room for one? Tell us your favorite dog breeds in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe for more. See you soon.